Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit different, go away. In this video we are going to talk about artificial intelligence. Remember all the scary movies predicting AI rising to the power and being way smarter than us? Well, maybe that time has already come. That's exactly what we will find out in this video because a few days ago I went to my LinkedIn profile and everyone was talking about this AI tool called ChatGPT. So I decided to try it out and see what's all the buzz about. And I was shocked. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Please keep in mind that this AI has wide use, but in this video we are going to focus mainly on how it can affect and help us as developers. So here it is. It has a very simple interface, but let's see what it can actually do. So let's say, for example, reverse a string in C++. Let's see. Okay, here is the explanation. And then it gives you the code. Fantastic. Let's run the program. And here is our hello world reversed. How awesome is this? But it's pretty simple example, so let's see what else it can do. So let's test its OOP knowledge. Let's say create a user that has name, age, username, and password in C++. Let's see. Okay, so here you get the explanation. Okay. So it gave us the entire code and it created the class and then it also created the example of how to use this class and it's even writing the comments in code. I mean, how cool is this? So let's copy this and paste it to my Visual Studio. Okay, all the code is here and if I try to run this app, let's see the result. So here is our user. Amazing. So since many of you very often ask me about data structures and algorithms, let's see what it can do in that area. So let's ask it to make a program that measures inserting time and compares the speed of a linked list and an array in C++. So let's see. So it even continues giving additional explanations about this code, but what I'm interested in is to see how this code will work. So let's paste it to Visual Studio. Okay, and let's run it. Okay, and time to insert, what is this? Is this 1 million elements into a linked list is 0 0.9 seconds and time to insert 1 million elements into an array is 0 0.001 seconds. Okay, let's close this, let's see why. So it is because it has generated a static array, not dynamic array. So that is the reason why inserting elements into an array is faster than into a linked list. Otherwise, if it had been a dynamic array, then linked list would be faster. You can try and ask ChatGPT to create a comparison between a linked list and dynamic array when it comes to inserting elements and see what you are going to get in that situation. Let's do something with algorithms. Let's say write a C++ algorithm to sort 10 random numbers in ascending order. Numbers should be bigger than 10 and smaller than 1000. Okay, so let's see how it's going to handle this. Okay. So here's our finished result. Let's copy the code. Okay, go to Visual Studio and let's see how this program behaves. Okay, so here are are random numbers sorted in ascending order and all of them are between 10 and 1000. Amazing. So here is your homework solved in literally five seconds. Now let's try something different because ChatGPT is not only about programming, but it has wide use. So let's give it a different test. Let's say, for example, write a short but interesting and controversial post that would get me a lot of thumbs up. Let's see. <laughs> I'm becoming a drama channel, you know? Hmm? Okay. Okay, so I read this and it's very interesting, but also very controversial topic because I believe that it hits different on the employer side and on the employee side. So let me know what do you think in the comment section. Would you like for a four day work week to be introduced? Let's see if it will be able to reply to this request. Let's say, can you write me a short story about a man who sold his dog because he didn't have money? Let's see. I'm really interested in this one. 
Okay, so once upon a time, a man named John had a dog named Max. John and Max were the best of friends and did everything together. They went on long walks, played fetch in the park, and snuggled on the couch at night. But one day, John's financial situation took a turn for the worse. He lost his job and found himself struggling to make ends meet. He couldn't afford to buy Max food or pay for his vet bills, and he knew he had to make a difficult decision. Okay, no, I am not going to read this anymore because I'm going to start crying, so let's return to C++ topics, okay? Let's see if it can create an entire application. Let's say, for example, make me a calculator app in C++. Okay. Okay, so here is the code for our app, and I don't even need to test it because I can already see that is it. Of course, there are different ways to make this application, but one thing that I do want to test, and one thing that I do want to try, is this. Let's say, translate it to C Sharp. Let's see if it will be able to do this. So I don't know if you see the same potential as I do, but this is actually amazing. This is just beta version and it's already able to translate an application into a different programming language. So imagine what it will be able to do in a year or two years. And even now, I believe that it shouldn't have any problems to translate much bigger applications, but there are too many users and servers are crashing. It's just in its beta phase. So I believe that currently it's just not able to return me translation for a million lines of code. So this is actually amazing. And another thing that I want you to notice is the similarities between C++ and C Sharp. So if you take a look for all of my viewers who are learning C++, I want you to take a look at this C++ application and then at this C Sharp application. You can notice how similar they are, like if else structure, and then here you have console write line and console read line, which are in C++ C in or console input and then C out or console output. So very, very similar. And I always mention that once you have a good understanding of one programming language, especially if that programming language is something like C++, then it's just a matter of syntax, which you can practice in a couple of days, do a couple of exercises before you are able to switch to another programming language. So while we are talking about different programming languages, let's try something different. Let's say create a pink navbar with the list of top five best football players with HTML and CSS. Links should point to their Instagram profiles. So let's see. Okay, so here is the code. I'm going to copy it, paste it in my VS code, and then save, and I will run this. Okay, so this is our navbar. It looks kind of ugly, but let's see if it is functional. Let's see, Cristiano Ronaldo. So it takes us to his Instagram page, actually. And then Leo Messi. Okay, and then Neymar Jr. Robert Lewandowski, and then Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. No. So as you can see, the code is okay. I don't know if the data is okay though. For my male viewers who understand about football, let me know in the comments. So what is the conclusion? Is AI going to overtake our jobs? I do believe that some industries are going to be overtaken by AI in the near future. Industries like construction, warehousing, transportation. So all the repetitive routine tasks that humans are performing, especially physical tasks, those are gone in the future. And then AI is also writing music and creating art. So should musicians and artists be concerned? I don't know. I also showed you what it can do in code. And this is just beta version. I am personally very enthusiastic when it comes to all the improvements that AI is going to bring to our life, especially to the medicine and space research, genetics, health span and longevity, and life quality in general. But I also have some concerns. AI systems are designed to make decisions and to take actions based on the data, but they are not perfect and they can make mistakes. And those mistakes can have very, very negative consequences. They can create financial losses, legal issues, or even be very harmful to us humans or to our environment. 
AI systems are very complex and they are extremely hard to understand, especially because they constantly evolve and change. So I understand all the people who are worrying about security because of AI. So ChatGPT says that it finished its training in 2021 and that it is not aware of later events. And it also says that it cannot browse the internet. But I'm going to leave you a couple of examples of what people are doing with ChatGPT and what kind of responses they are getting back so that you can decide for yourself if this is true or not. Some of these people might be trolling or maybe not. Again, you can decide. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. I saw that a lot of people are concerned about AI and I didn't make this video to scare you. I made it to share this information because this is a very useful tool that you can use in order to help you to learn programming. And it's completely free, at least for now. So AI is here and it is here to stay. You cannot change it. You can either be unhappy and whine about it or you can embrace it and use it for personal growth. It's your choice. So what is the conclusion of this video? The conclusion is that I think you don't need me anymore. I give you someone who is going to reply to all your programming questions. And it was great honor to be your programming teacher all of these years. But now I leave you in good hands. Thank you very much for watching. And we are still going to see each other on Instagram. Bye.